500 obesity type 2 diabetes cancer pretty much all chronic diseases of the western world are associated with a gut microbiome that is unhealthy but did you know that neurological disorders like autism depression and parkinson's disease are also linked to our gut health our gut is home to a vast array of microbes that produce essential hormones and vitamins respond to medicine and infections, and control cholesterol levels, profoundly impacting our overall health. In fact, human cells only account for about 1% of the genetic material that we carry with us, so we are actually more microbial than human. As we eat, digested food particles pass through our gut, which is lined with various cell types. For example, microbes activate anterior endocrine cells, which send hormones throughout the body like emails reaching hundreds of targets. Neuropod cells, on the other hand, have synaptic connections with neurons, physically stimulating the vagus nerve, which connects directly to the brain. Unlike anterior endocrine cells sending emails, these neuropod cells can communicate with the brain within milliseconds like real-time face-to-face communication. Neuropod cells and the vagus nerve allow the brain to directly understand the food and microbes. But unfortunately, they also provide a route for pathogens to enter the brain and cause illnesses. For Parkinson's disease, the misfolding and aggregation of a protein called alpha-synuclein is a major hallmark. In 2023, researchers discovered that E. coli is responsible for this aggregation. These alpha-synuclein proteins then spread from the gut to the brain via the vagus nerve, leading to Parkinson-related degeneration syndromes. Our genome is mostly fixed at conception, but we do have control over our microbiome's genome. Psychobiotics is a promising field that targets the microbiome for neurological benefits. As we dig into the gut-brain connection, we are only beginning to realize the vast potential within us.